Here's the equipment you're going to need for that mock sausage meatloaf. You're going to need a nice big bowl to mix everything. You're going to need a knife to chop vegetables in case you've got them already chopped, which if, if you buy them chopped, great. And you're going to need a pizza pan. I like this as opposed to just a cookie sheet. I like the way that the heat distributes. And we're just going to very, very lightly uh, put a little bit of oil in it so that the meatless loaf doesn't stick to the pan. Here are the ingredients for that mock sausage loaf. An onion, one package of silken tofu, make sure that it's silken. You need 14 ounces of a sausage, a uh, soy sausage, not a soy ground beef, but a soy sausage. That one has a really great flavor. You're going to need some celery, and then this is optional. You can put in a carrot if you want. Sometimes I like to and sometimes I don't. Uh, but you're going to chop these vegetables up pretty small. So if you're not very good at chopping or you don't want to do that, that's okay. You can leave the carrot out. You have to drain the tofu. And I'm going to show you how to do that. The first thing you do with anything you're going to bake is turn on the oven. We just want to make sure that the oven is nice and hot when we go to use it. There's nothing worse than... Oh, I forgot to turn on the oven. 350. This onion needs to be cut very small. So I've already cut it down. Now I'm just going to chop it across. It doesn't need to be minced. Like that's like really teeny tiny. But we do need to have these smaller pieces. See, these are not just big chunks. These are a little bit smaller pieces. These smaller pieces will blend in well in the meatless loaf. The same thing goes for my celery. And then just cutting across. Okay, so if you're going to do the carrot, cut the very end off, and then I cut it in half. And then cut it in half again, and you put your fingers around this half moon thing, cut that in half. And then I cut on the diagonal. So you see how I'm cutting on the diagonal, and I end up with four pieces. All right, so I have four little pieces. And then I just chop them straight across. And they end up sort of looking like diced pieces of carrot, but it's a lot easier than actually having to dice. And this is basically all I'm going to need. Okay, so we're going to cut this in half, plop it in with our onions and the carrots and the celery. Now is the fun spot. You just want to get in there and squish it up. This is going to be so good. Woohoo! Yum! And squish it up. Move the bowl a little bit so you make sure that you got all of it. And you're just going to squish it until it just feels really good. Mmm. There. I tried doing this with a um, a spatula and like trying to make nice in a spoon and oh, it just took forever and things did not really get mushed. Here we go and now we're going to oil our pan and stick it in the oven. Okay so for those of you who are here last month you know that I keep my oil in a little spray bottle so I know exactly how much oil I'm using all the time and this has a little drop on it and now I'm just going to put this all the way around and if anybody was wondering, gee, what can I do with the rest of that tofu? Well, you can either make another loaf, or if you were here last month, you know that you can make that lemon cream. If you weren't here last month and you'd like to get the recipes, you can just go to the website, which will be at the end, and you can go to the marketplace and you can get them. Just go to the marketplace. Okay, so here we have my loaf. And all I'm doing is I'm making it into sort of a rectangle and squishing it down. And notice it's not very high, but that's okay. You don't want it really, really high. It's very filling. Okay, now we're going to put it in the oven. I have my gravy on it and everything. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is really, mmm, mmm. Okay, and this gravy is gonna go fantastic on the potatoes I cooked. Again, it's absolutely fat free, so it's very low in calories. So if you're gonna have some potatoes, which we're just gonna make baked potatoes, um, it's gonna be 
nowhere near the calories of butter and stuff like that. And none of the cholesterol. Oh my God, this is so good. Okay, I gotta eat the rest of this and I'm gonna look like a pig, so you have to go away. <laughs>